My first guest tonight is a senator from California who served as that state's attorney general and is currently running for president of the United States. Please welcome Senator Kamala Harris. Now, I, I want to talk about last night's okay. debate, but before we do that, there is news that just broke that none of these people know about, is that Washington Post is reporting yeah. that Lindsey Graham is launching a probe of the Bidens, Burisma, and Ukraine. Um, first question, what the hell? Yeah. You're on judiciary with him. Yeah. What do you make of this? I make of it, it, it's the same thing that they've been doing, which is to create a big distraction from the facts and the evidence. And frankly, you know, my perspective is leave Joe alone. Just leave him alone. Um, leave him alone. The because this, is, this has been, you know, we know this from every day of the, thank God, the, the open to the public hearings that we've been witnessing. The, the, the Burisma, the, the, the Biden probe, it's a bunch of BS. Even and the witnesses distract... that they were, look, they were looking forward to, like Volcker, said, there is nothing to this. I Joe Biden, you, you, you cannot impugn his character with this. But, There's but, nothing to but it. But it also speaks to the fact that they know they have to create this big distraction because there's a lot there otherwise that the American public is focusing on that tells us about the fact that we have a criminal living in the White House. Your, your words, not mine, ma'am. I'm still giving him a chance. I have no words. <laughs> you, you said, you said, leave Joe alone. Yeah. You did not leave him alone last night at the debate. Oh. There was a bit of a viral moment last night. We played it last night. I want to play it again right now. Everyone's talking about this moment with Vice President Biden. Jim? They know me. They know who I am. Three former chairs of the Black Caucus. The only African-American woman that ever been elected to the United States Senate. A whole range of people. No, My point no, that's is... that's not true. true. The other that's one is true. here. <laughs> it, it, well, I said the first. Thank I said the first African-American elected. <laughs> first african -American. So my point is... <laughs> when he said that, did it register at first? What he had said? Yes, actually. <laughs> I mean, look, there are only... Okay, and this is a statement of a bit, much bigger issue. In the 200-plus year history of the United States Senate, I am only the second black woman to serve in what is called the most deliberative body and, and, and one of the most respected political bodies in the world. And, um, and so it's an important fact. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and, and I obviously Easily wanted checkable. to point it out. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, this week, uh, Biden spoke against uh, marijuana legalization. He says he wants not to criminalize, but he would said he thinks marijuana is a gateway drug and he doesn't want to... It might be a gateway drug and he doesn't want to support legalization. You didn't always support legalization. What changed for you? Did uh, your advisor, uh, Mary Jane, help at all? <laughs> you remember that Rick James song, Mary Jane? Do you remember that? I'm afraid it's I don't. Long... Okay, anyway. Um, no, you know, here, it's, it's very basic. Uh, we've got to not just decriminalize, we need to legalize marijuana. It is, it is, the whole war on drugs was a complete failure. And we have criminalized um, whole populations of people. I mean, you want to talk about gateway. It, 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 that approach is the gateway to America's problem of mass incarceration. That's the gateway issue. That's, frankly, the gateway issue. And so not, not only do I intend to legalize marijuana, but I will also tell you, Stephen, that part of the big issue is we've got whole populations of, in particular, black and brown men and women who have been incarcerated, who have been designated felons for life, who now should be coming out, and we should be releasing them, we should be expunging their records, I will do all of that. Restoring but, their voting and franchise. And restoring, uh, absolutely, restoring their rights. <laughs> but in addition, this has become one of the most, the, the most um, profitable, newest industries in our country, is, is, is basically selling weed.
And so now all of these people who have been criminalized, right, should be first in line to get those jobs, to get the certificates, to run those businesses. And under my administration, I'll make sure that happens, because it's the same thing, right? They were selling weed. These guys are selling weed. <laughs> On the job like, training. Like, break it down. On the job right? training. You've laid off most of your staff in New Hampshire. Why give up in the live free or die state? Uh, are we living free or dying right now? The, the, the cold, hard reality of running for president is that it's really expensive. And you got to raise a lot of money. And you have to make hard decisions. There are four primary states, Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada. And um, Iowa is the first state. And I need to do well there. And so we had to make a difficult decision mm -hmm. about with limited resources where we were going to put them. I mean, if anybody wants to see me on that debate, this is going to be a shameless plug. Do it. If anybody wants to see me on that debate stage going toe to toe with Donald Trump, just like I took on Jeff Sessions, Bill Barr, and Brett Kavanaugh, please go to KamalaHarris.org and help because um, we, need to, we need to get through Iowa. We need to get through Iowa. We have to take a break, but please don't go away, because when I come back, I'll ask the senator who she thinks the impeachment inquiry should call as a witness next. Stick around.